Well, Americans are exploring the previously untold stories of black individuals across the world right here in the U.S. Yeah, a new museum in South Carolina is honoring African Americans by documenting their history and examining their global impact. The International African American Museum in Charleston opened to the public late last month. The 150,000 square foot facility overlooks uh, Gadsden's Wharf, where tens of thousands of captured African Americans um, entered the U.S and were forced into slavery. Captured Africans, of course, uh, entered into the U.S. and slaved here. And joining us now from Charleston, South Carolina, is Tanya M. Matthews. She is the president and CEO of the International African American Museum. Really excited about this. Thanks so much for joining us. First off, I want to ask, talk to us about the significance of where this museum is located. What is the meaning behind that? How could that impact visitors' experiences? Yeah, thank you uh, for having me. I think the significance is at Gadsden's Wharf. So we are the site of what historians will say is our nation's most prolific uh, former transatlantic slave trading port. Uh, so by estimates, you know, something over 40% of Africans that come into what is now the United States of America would have come into this space. So in addition to having this amazing museum that can now tell these stories, our site itself can become a bit of point of pilgrimage uh, coming into this space as we, we tell that story. But we do make an intentional point of putting that story in its full context. This period of enslavement is neither the beginning nor the end of the African-American journey. It's in the middle. Uh, and what, what really intrigues me about this is the international component, as you just said, putting on that global picture. I was fortunate enough when I worked at CNN to host a program called Inside Africa. I, I toured through and visited and explored 22 African nations in two years, wow. completely changed my life, but it also exposed to me the diversity of the African continent, the linkage between modern day uh, states, and folks don't even realize there's an entire African nation called Liberia founded by freed um, black slaves from the U.S. So there's so many stories to show. Talk to us about what type of exhibits you have on display and, again, what makes this unique from other museums we might have seen. Excellent point around the, the international uh, in our name. So we do that in two ways. The first is origin story. So we do talk about the continent of Africa and those ancient uh, and older civilizations and communities that folks were taken from. But in a modern context, we also talk about our connections to the current African diaspora. Everything from weaving, Charleston, South Carolina, Low Country in particular, is known for sweetgrass basket weaving. That's one of the traditions and cultural norms that we brought with us uh, from the communities um, that, that we were uh, taken from. Uh, so we also talk about this Gullah Geechee community. That's one of the communities that has the strongest ties. We do talk about rice. Um, the cash crop in South Carolina uh, was rice, Carolina gold. Um, to this day, culturally, we're still very serious about rice culture. But this is adding an important part in understanding of the story. Uh, and another thing that seems to be a shining star inside the museum is our Center for Family History. So we took some time and a lot of space and created a genealogy center uh, inside of our museum. Well, Tanya, I love some of the voices that you're highlighting, but I know you've heard from some people who say that the museum doesn't go far enough to reflect the full history of African-Americans, which, which is a tall order, but how would you respond to those people? You know, it's very interesting around that. And I, part of me says, yes, absolutely. This is why every great community needs a great museum. Uh, the idea that you can fit the entire African-American context into a single institution um, is frankly a non-starter, but I do appreciate the nod to acknowledging there's so much more to learn. There's so much more to talk about. And what we actually want to do is we want to inspire the curiosity for folks to go look for those stories we hinted at or other stories that are not in the space. Though, as one of my board members likes to say, if you build a museum about Black history in America today and no one's got anything to say about it, uh, then you probably didn't do what you needed to do in the first place. That's a really good point, right? Because even, <laughs> you know, the African-American community all over the states, it's not monolithic. There are different views, different aspects, different political backgrounds. Um, this museum touching mm -hmm. it all. Tanya Matthews, thank you so much for joining us. And we, of course, encourage everybody to go out and check this incredible, uh, check out this incredible new place. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.